beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Julia and happy vlogtober. If you're new to this channel or just new to this series, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I'm uploading a brand new video for you. Every Monday and Friday are going to be vlogtober vlogs in which I'm vlogging every single day for you guys and uploading them two times a week. And then if you're not too much into the vlogs, every single Wednesday, there's going to be a brand new main video for you. I'll have a playlist down below for you guys to catch up on all the Vlogtober videos. I did a fall deep cleaning last week, so if you want to check that out, it'll be down below for you as well. So now that that's all over, without further ado, here is my huge fall clothing haul. I feel like this is probably one of my best fall clothing hauls yet. It has everything that you could possibly need. Basics, casuals, something warm, something cozy something cute, something chic, something a little classic. It has everything. So the internet told me to go to Ross and I listened. And maybe I took it a little bit too literally because I went to Ross. So let's start off with the basic casuals. I found the best pair of gray sweatpants. I never thought I would be an owner of gray sweatpants, but I don't think I can go back. I've been seeing some really cute inspo photos of like gray baggy sweatpants with some Uggs or like a chunky boot sticking out. So I went with a huge wide leg sweatpant and I'm obsessed with it. This is by the brand Free Haven from Ross. Something that I really neglected in my wardrobe as of late is casual jackets. I have really nice jackets, leather, fur, bomber jackets, but I like something a little bit casual, especially if we're going to be doing like a gray sweatpant look. So I got two basic casual jackets. This first one is super lightweight. I think it'll be perfect for the like really chilly mornings and then it gets hotter in the day and you don't really know what the temperature is yet. It's like this almost navy gray sort of crop jacket. It's kind of loose, thinner. It's a very athletic-y material. And this is by the brand LA Glow. I just think it's so cute. Call me crazy, but the Barbie movie got me loving pink. So there is going to be a lot of pink in here, but I just have this baby pink jacket as well. This one's a little bit thicker material. It's like a cottony fabric. Also super oversized and comfortable. I did get these a size up just so that I could put something thicker under them and still be able to wear them really casual. And this is by the brand Life Rocks. Another basic that I just have not had in my wardrobe yet is a plain white t-shirt. I feel like I can't have enough of these and I don't know why I stopped buying them, but I just have this like slightly baggy white t-shirt. It's going to be so perfect. Like imagine the gray sweatpants with one of these jackets, some Uggs, and then a white t-shirt. Just a super basic casual outfit. You can dress up white t-shirts really easily, put on a nice leather jacket, maybe tuck it in with a skirt, or you can make it super casual. And this is by the brand On Fire. Now, is it even the fall time if you don't buy yourself a new pair of comfy pajamas? I'm a firm believer that nice pajamas just will make you feel so much better. It makes you feel hotter, you wake up feeling better, you go to sleep feeling better. I just absolutely love them. So I have these black and cream striped silk pajamas. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Look at the little top. I didn't know how I would feel about this kind of top as a sleeper top, but I actually really like it because sometimes the silk pajamas can kind of dip and they're moving around, you know, you just don't love it. <laughs> I just love the little detailing. It has like a cutout on the bottom of the trousers. They're just so cute and so chic. And this is by the brand Nicole Miller. Somehow I got addicted to little like baby tees and that's all I've been wearing recently. So I did get a few. They had so many cute like graphic print embroidered tops. So if you're into that, especially for the Halloween season, they had a bunch of Halloween ones. So, so cute. I just got a very simple brown one. It has buttons on the front and like this little like cutout floral pattern. I just love this chocolate brown color. I think it would be so chic with just like a gray skirt or something. And this is by the brand Just Polly. Now I did get two graphic tees. I don't wear graphic tees that often, but I just could not leave these behind for the fall season. First up, ah, I don't wear a lot of burgundy anymore, but I just could not leave this. This is a little bear baby tee. Oh my God, it is so cute. I've been loving bears. I have like a bear purse and a bear keychain. I love them for the fall season. And he has a little bow on him. It's just so cute. These next two tops are both by the brand Home Roll Society. And this brand 
had so many cute tops. This other one is just so perfect for Halloween. I can't. Oh my gosh, they're little skeletons with cowgirl hats and cowgirl boots in pink. They're so cute. I just thought this was perfect for the Halloween season. It's been a very hot fall, so I feel like this would be perfect for the fall season and the Halloween season. I'm sure if you haven't already seen me wear this during Vlogtober, I will certainly be wearing it sometime soon. Now you guys know I have a crew neck obsession, so I had to get one, I had to get one. Oh my gosh, I think this is so chic. It's a gray material, super soft, and it has this green embroidered material to it. And it says California Athletic Club. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. And this is by the brand Reflex. They had a bunch of crewnecks. I'm very picky about my crewnecks. I love when it has a little bit of a puff sleeve on it and it pulls in and I need a drop shoulder. I can't have the seam of it up high. I like it dropped. So the last thing that I got for Ross is my favorite find by far this season. Ah, aren't these adorable? I have been going back and forth all season if I wanna buy another pair of Uggs because unfortunately I did not weatherproof my last pair and I did ruin them and they were very expensive. It just felt like a waste and I didn't feel like spending all that money on them. These, however, arguably a better dupe. I tried on the Ultra Minis by Ugg and this platform is so thick and heavy that literally your feet are just so weighed down. These are a lightweight material. They're so cute. They look exactly the same and they're by the brand Bear Paw. I'm sure you guys have seen these before. Just so you can do some price comparison, these were $32. Now I blame my sister-in-law for this addiction to Airy. I have never stepped foot in Airy before and these pieces are like a little bit summery. I just could not pass them up. The first one is definitely more of a summery one, but I thought this would be perfect for the gym and working out. Ah, it is so cute. I'm still so obsessed with this. So these are actually shorts. I know it kind of looks like a skirt and that's why I love it so much. It has the cross pattern up front super stretchy, so comfortable. I just think they'd be so cute for Pilates days and all that. And maybe like under a big crew neck, you could wear it almost like a skirt. So cute. Oh my gosh. I just, <laughs> I can't help it. I've been feeling very girly and bows and cutesy and pink. I've just been loving it. Everyone's saying that bows are going out of style, but I really just don't care. Bows have become part of my existence and I love them. So this is a cream oversized crew neck. It's definitely baggier, so you don't necessarily need to go up a size. My favorite part of this is the back detailing. So this little button can come off and you can do like an off the shoulder moment if you want to, if you wanna put like a sports bra or like a cute bra on and then just show it off a little bit. Now, when I said that I have some chic pieces in here as well, because I went to Banana Republic. I love Banana Republic. To be fair, these are all from the Banana Republic outlet. I did not pay a full price for these items because they were very expensive. To start off, a necessity for the fall season are a brand new pair of tights. I've never had polka dot tights before, but I just think these are so chic and you can just wear with anything and it would just instantly make the look a little bit more classy. And I also picked up just one jewelry item this fall. I feel like I have a really good accessories wardrobe going on. So I haven't purchased too many other things. They're like these rectangular hoops, rectangular hoops. So we'll start off with a more casual item. Oh, I'm so obsessed with this. I got myself a pink sweater. Finally, I have been seeing so many inspo photos of pink sweaters and a little gray mini skirt and I've been dying to get my hands on one. This bad boy is the sweater of all sweaters. It's that thick knit material that I love so much. This isn't an extra small. They literally only had two of these left in the store and they were both extra small. I would have ideally liked it a little bit more oversized, but we're gonna make it work because I just could not leave it. At the Banana Republic outlets, their dresses were 50% off. So I just could not pass these up. You kind of have to like see the vision for these because they're a little bit different than something I would normally wear. 
but I tried them on and I loved it. So I did get a new black dress because I got rid of most of my black dresses and I thought for the fall season, I feel like you just need a black dress to style with something really cute. This is like a wavy knit material puff sleeved mini dress. It has a little tie around the waistband and then it has a tie on the chest as well. So you can do a little more conservative look if you want or a little bit more open. I really love it open and no belt, honestly. And it has a little slip dress that comes with it. So you have some coverage for it. I just think this is so cute and it looks very mature and cutesy. I don't know. I just love it. And this other dress that I got is giving all the like academic vibes. I just, ah, it's so cute. I don't ever buy anything in navy blue, but I got this navy blue mini dress and it is so cute. I never thought that this kind of like collar situation would look good on me but I'm so obsessed with it. I might actually go back and buy the same one in a different color because they did have multiple colors. The detailing on this, I'm just obsessed with. It has like this really nice, almost like a boning on the midsection, the collar as well. As you can see, I did try it on, so there's a little bit of makeup on there, sorry. It's just one of those dresses that when you put on, you like are in awe of how good it looks on you. This, this is this dress for me, so I love it. And last but certainly not least, I got a couple items from Walmart and Target, so I just want to show you those as well. From Target, I just got some more athletic wear because I've been traveling a lot, working out a lot. I just need more leggings and more comfy, stretchy materials for those types of situations. First up, I got arguably the best pair of biker shorts I've ever found in my life. And I'm not a big biker shorts fan, but I could not leave these. These are by the Target brand Joy Lab, and I understand now why the internet is going crazy about this brand and why my friend keeps telling me that I need to try them out. So again, they have that cross detailing that just snatches the waist. I love it so much. And the reason that I'm including these is because, oh my gosh, is this not giving Princess Diana with a crew neck? And then these are also from Joy Lab. Is this not like the perfect fall color? This is what I'm talking about. These are their flare leggings. So it does have the front cross, unlike the shorts. It doesn't have it in the back, which I'm okay with. Again, so chic. They look so good on you. This is a thinner material than the shorts for sure, but flared to the max, like flared to the max. I will say for the shorties out there, like myself, I'm 5'1", this is definitely too long but my friend is taller than me and she got a different size and she said that they're just kind of like built that way. They're just built really, really long. But oh, I just picture a fall day, cute baby tee, these and some Uggs peeking out. Like, oh, I just think they'd be so cute. So I really love how comfortable these are. These have been like my go-to travel outfit recently. I just love these. And then <laughs> I got one more bow item. I one more girly item. Just the gray and pink combo recently has been my go-to. So just a basic gray sweater. It's by their No Boundaries line. I did get this in an extra large because I wanted it baggier. Originally this is supposed to be like a crop sweater. I'm not here for the cropped too much so I did get a little bit bigger but the bow is so cute and I feel like it just contrasts really well. Again with a little skirt and some booties. I think it would be so so cute and that my friends is everything that i've got this year for the fall season i'm so excited to style all these pieces all month long with you guys maybe i'll have to do like a lookbook or something very soon let me know if you'd like to see that and like i said do not forget to catch up on all of my vlogtober videos i'll have that playlist for you guys so let me know what you're thinking of vlogtober so far i am so excited about this i've been working really hard behind the scenes to make this happen for you guys. So I really hope you're enjoying it. By liking, subscribing, and commenting, it lets me know that you're enjoying it. So I really appreciate all the love and all the support that you guys always give me. And I will see you guys back here again on Friday with a brand new Vlogtober video. Bye. <laughs>